Hello my friends, let's talk about the boondocks, and the best guy ever, who recently made a video as part of his series that he called Mia Mafava, where he analyzes shows and produces content at a rate that can only be described as that of a machine god. When the internet says y'all motherfuckers need Talos, best guy ever is Talos. The particular video that stood out to me was his analysis of the boondocks, a show based on a long-running comic strip that has produced some of the best social political commentary any American cartoon ever has. The focus of the video was, of course, on how Huey, the main character, has had an impact on the way that Best Guy Ever forms an argument and attempts to persuade his audience to seeing his own point of view. Huey's law, as he states, is persuasion through spectacle. I have to say that this law is absolutely accurate to not only how Huey operates within the show, but also how the show itself attempts to make its messages known. If you just speak the truth, people like Grandad get bored and don't listen. If you want them to listen, you need scale, drama, and special effects. You need spectacle. He pointed specifically to episode 7 of season 1, the Christmas episode, and the scene of Huey's revelation of how he would present his message of the true meaning of Christmas. And he succeeded. Huey made a large-scale, extremely dramatic Christmas play, with celebrities and special effects all on the school's budget. And while Best Guy Ever's point was to outline what Huey's law is, I think, as a result, he missed the most important aspect of Huey's law. Huey's law doesn't work. The Boondocks is an extremely self-aware show, and the show not only comments on important social-political issues, but also on its own means of commenting on society. In more episodes than not, the Boondocks lets you leave the episode with bitter tastes and disappointment. It gives endings that are real, absolute, loose ends are tied, but still completely unsatisfying, even while delivering on action-packed car chases, shootouts, and kung fu battles. First, I'll point to Episode 9, Season 1, where Huey imagines what the world would be like if Martin Luther King Jr. woke up from his coma and came to live with them, and returned to the public eye as a social leader in the modern day. The episode ends with a stirring speech, a social revolution, and then a reminder that it was all pretend, with a newspaper image of MLK's obituary in a small side column underneath a large headline about Oprah. The spectacle of Martin Luther King Jr. was no spectacle at all. In the Christmas episode, Huey's play doesn't end with a social revolution. In fact, no one comes to see it because Huey fired all of the other children. So, of course, none of the families saw the play. See, spectacle is all good and fun, but the true usefulness of spectacle is to reinforce what people already believe. It's an opportunity to turn the brain off, relax, and absorb the stimulation in front of them. The function of spectacle is rest for a busy mind. We go to spectacles because we know that they already have something we like. Something that we already know that we care about. The parents didn't come to the school play, not because they didn't care about Huey's vision, they didn't even know Huey had a vision. What the parents cared about was their children and spending the holidays with their families. What the parents cared about was that true meaning of Christmas that Huey didn't care about at the start of the episode. Huey's law is half right. Spectacle can lower people's fences such that you can plant the seed of an idea for them to think about later. But spectacle doesn't get people in the door. You have to have something that people already care about to draw their attention, and then they will listen to you. Best Guy Ever already has the valuable thing people care about in his videos. He has anime and video games. He has people who come to see him because they are invested in his ideas. When people come to you for those values, as they engage with your ideas, eventually they start to value you and your ideas. The audience comes to care about your opinion as they would their friends, and they will want to talk about it with you. This, my friends, is called philosophy. Philos meaning the love that exists between friends and family, and sophos meaning wisdom. And the method of philosophy as a tradition has always been dialogue. 
The word philosophy thus means wisdom through the loving dialogue between friends. Huey's law, as a method of persuasion, fails when you make it your end, when you make it your purpose to have spectacle. The spectacle of Huey's law is a great means. It keeps people around and it makes people happy. However, its real power is in being a means to true philosophy. When you add it to the value that attracts people, Huey's law opens the dialogue. Thank you for watching, everyone. I love when the opportunity arises for me to respond to other creators that I really enjoy. Anything that turns YouTube into a more interactive medium is a good thing in my book. I ended this analysis being extremely self-aggrandizing with my own passions, but whenever that happens, I can't help but wonder if I was way off base with what the thing I was watching is trying to tell me. So, was I wrong about this? Is there something I missed about the dynamics going into Huey's Law that I should have talked about? Yell at me in the comments to let me know. If I successfully spectacled you with this video, hit the subscribe button to see what else I have planned for the future. Make sure to also share the video with your friends. I don't pay anyone to advertise the channel, so the only way that we can grow is with your help. I'll see you in the next video, and as always, stay true.